Hello everyone and welcome, this is Ariel speaking and today I'm going to show you how to eliminate the bumps here using Optimal Kinematics Optimization Module. The Optimization Module is a new add-on in Optimal Kinematics. That means you need to own a valid Optimal Kinematics license key to start using the Optimization Module. Ok, let's start. So imagine you have this suspension, which has quite a ton of bumps here, as I'm going to show you uh, in a few seconds, and you need to eliminate the bumps here. If you see here in the animation, we can actually see the wheels steering as the vehicle goes up and down. So uh, this shows that this suspension system has quite a bit of bumps here. And to eliminate all these bumps here and make the, the load paths for this steering system uh, to improve these load paths, we can use Optimal Kinematics Optimization Module for that. So to start using the Optimization Module, we need to have a baseline suspension system. This is the item that you see, the baseline suspension. This is the exact same item you saw in the animation video. And moving further, we apply this baseline suspension to a vehicle setup, which is also called baseline. And we have only a front axle for that. Moving further, we use a uh, a vehicle motion, so in this case we use a heave motion to evaluate how good our suspension is. So if we want to eliminate the bumps here, we are going to simulate a bump slash rebound motion. So here our heave goes from minus 50 to plus 50 millimeters. To start optimizing the system, we go into the simulation tab. We select the vehicle where we want to create the optimization setup and we hit create. A new window pops up and then you select a name for the optimization setup. I'm going to name it reduce bumps here. You select your vehicle setup and you select your evaluation motion here. So we have the linear heave in 50 millimeters. You hit OK and now a new window pops up. The a new tab is created and it says boundaries. So I'm going to put the front view for this system and I'm going to create two boundaries. One is a box and another one is a sphere. The box is for the tie rod on the chassis and the sphere is for the tie rod position on the upright. In this case, the boundaries I'm going to reset the, the position of the boundaries like this. I'm going to copy and paste here and here and the same for the sphere and the radius of 90 millimeters. So now you see that the box became a plane and the sphere is a little bit larger than the default one. So the plane here simulates a situation where I want to keep using the same uh, steering rack length and I want just to move this steering, this steering rack, I want to change its position in the, in the suspended mass. Moving further, we set up our objectives. So the first objective is the toe angle. Remember that we are evaluating our system in heave. So the toe angle in heave should be zero as we see here in the chart. So the green line is the objective and the baseline suspension is this orange line. I am also going to scale this objective by 50. So it's 50 times more important than the, the standard value. I also want to change the tie rod position or I want to minimize the tie rod top view angle with relation to the steering rack. So I want to make them parallel. That means that the angle between one and another should be zero. And this is what this objective is set. So we have zero in the objective. You can also see here in the table. 
and I'm going to leave the scanning factor as 1. I am not going to play with the settings. So the settings I'm going to use are the default settings. But if you have a different optimization setup or a give a different set of objectives or boundaries, then I would suggest that you look into our help file where we describe how to pick the right settings for your optimization. Moving further, now we can hit Ctrl S to save and click run. Another window pops up and here we have a table showing the coordinates, the points coordinates that we are changing in the system. We have our system, a 3D representation of that. And we also have in this other tab, the objectives. So if you double click in the objectives here, you see that a chart comes up and you can also lay out the charts and display them side by side. We hit play to start the optimization and you can see in real time how your system is improving and how close it's getting from the baseline to the objective line. And as the optimization moves towards the end, you can see how the points change in coordinates. So in absolute values, you can see the changes reflected in the 3D animation and also in the objectives chart. So as we see here in the screen, uh, the elapsed time of 40 seconds already gave us a huge, uh, hugely immensely better values or better system that, than what we had in the beginning. So this way we show that the optimization module is an excellent tool to reduce the time that it takes for you to design your suspension. The final thing that you need to do is that you need to add the, this, the system that you see to the project. So you click on this icon here in the top you name your suspension. So I'm going to name it optimized and hit OK. Hit OK once again. Close the window. And now here we have the optimized system. That's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel and see you.